Section 34 of the Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Claire. The Aesop for Children by Aesop. The Man and the Satyr. A long time ago a man met a satyr in the forest and succeeded in making friends with him. The two soon became the best of comrades living together in the man's hut. But one cold winter evening, as they were walking homeward, the satyr saw the man blow on his fingers. "'Why do you do that?' asked the satyr. "'To warm my hands,' the man replied. When they reached home, the man prepared two bowls of porridge. These he placed steaming hot on the table, and the comrades sat down very cheerfully to enjoy the meal. But much to the satyr's surprise, the man began to blow into his bowl of porridge. "'Why do you do that?' he asked. "'To cool my porridge,' replied the man. The satyr sprang hurriedly to his feet and made for the door. "'Good-bye,' he said. "'I've seen enough. A fellow that blows hot and cold in the same breath cannot be friends with me.' The man who talks for both sides is not to be trusted by either. The Wolf, the Kid, and the Goat Mother Goat was going to market one morning to get provisions for her household, which consisted of but one little kid and herself. "'Take good care of the house, my son,' she said to the kid, as she carefully latched the door. "'Do not let anyone in unless he gives you this password. "'Down with the wolf and all his race!' Strangely enough, a wolf was lurking near and heard what the goat had said. So as soon as Mother Goat was out of sight, up he trotted to the door and knocked. "'Down with the wolf and all his race!' said the wolf softly. It was the right password, but when the kid peeped through a crack in the door and saw the shadowy figure outside he did not feel at all easy show me a white paw he said or i won't let you in a white paw of course is a feature few wolves can show and so master wolf had to go away as hungry as he had come you can never be too sure said the kid when he saw the wolf making off to the woods two sureties are better than one the swallow and the crow the swallow and the crow had an argument one day about their plumage. Said the swallow, Just look at my bright and downy feathers. Your black stiff quills are not worth having. Why don't you dress better? Show a little pride. Your feathers may do very well in spring, replied the crow, but I don't remember ever having seen you around in winter, and that's when I enjoy myself most. Friends in fine weather only are not worth much. Jupiter and the Monkey there once was a baby show among the animals in the forest. Jupiter provided the prize. Of course, all the proud mummers from far and near brought their babies, but none got there earlier than Mother Monkey. Proudly she presented her baby among the other contestants. As you can imagine, there was quite a laugh when the animals saw the ugly, flat-nosed, hairless, pop-eyed little creature. Laugh if you will, said the Mother Monkey. Though Jupiter may not give him the prize, I know that he is the prettiest, the sweetest, the dearest darling in the world. Mother love is blind. End of section 34 Recording by Claire